welcome to the ITU studio here at the Plenipotentiary Conference 2022 in Bucharest, Romania, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Cosmas Zavazava, who is the Director-Elect of the Telecommunication Development Bureau, soon to be taking up uh, his post uh, as uh, Director on January the 1st. We've got the very uh, great pleasure of you joining us here, and I want to thank you very much indeed for taking the time to be here. Thank you very much, Max. Let's talk about ITU. How would you describe the role of ITU in the world right now? Well, crucial. I think uh, ITU is at the center of action as countries are making an effort towards uh, the attainment of the uh, 2030 development agenda. And uh, technology is at the center of everything that we do. And in principle, this is an organization that you've been with for a, a very long time now, and uh, you, you're very familiar with it, and you're very familiar with people's perceptions of it. What do you think that we, as an organization, uh, represent right now? Well, ITU is um, a critical organization. Some describe it as a very small, obscure organization, but we think that uh, we represent uh, the centerpiece of everything which is happening. We are leading in terms of information and communication technology, d deployment and also development of standards, uh, spectrum, and also executing projects across the globe which uh, can change uh, the entire game of uh, socio-economic development. So I think uh, ITU has to continue to play its role but also to impose itself as a leading organization that can help other sectors to succeed. Now, internet access is increasingly recognized as a, a key development indicator, uh, and yet still today, one third of humanity remains unconnected. What can ITU and its telecommunication development sector do about this? I think we can do a lot. Uh, the 2.7 billion people who are offline today are a potential, and they have to also have access and be able to participate in the economic dialogue. Most of the time, uh, I think some people are within the footprint, but there is just no interest, no appetite to, to, to get connected, one, because some governments don't uh, have no capacity to roll out services to the people so that there is demand. Second, there is an issue of affordability, which uh, we have to look at. And the third, most importantly, there are no skills. So we should be working towards uh, closing the skills gap as well as the digital uh, gap. So I think that is very important. We are best placed as ITU because we have the private sector and the industry with us and uh, we would like to energize them and to get them excited to invest in infrastructure and uh, make sure that uh, they make an economic contribution to the general economy but most importantly in the area of connectivity talking about energizing and, uh, and excitement. There was uh, certainly plenty of that when you, when you uh, uh, were elected. And uh, it, you've had a long, hard-fought battle, battle, I'm sure, uh, to get there. You're not campaigning anymore now, so you can relax. But I just wanted <laughs> to ask you, with regards to uh, your position as Bureau Director, what do you think you will be your top priorities when you, uh, when you take that, uh, that seat in January? I think, and you put it nicely, that I'm no longer campaigning. It's a real issue now. Uh, the issue is to try and explain my vision. My vision was very clear. We want to close the digital divide. We wanted to close the skills divide and accelerate digital transformation and make an impact on the ground. Inclusiveness is a critical element. We have to make sure that we address those that are offline today and those that feel that they are marginalized. And that is very important. It goes from gender to people in urban and rural areas, uh, girls and boys, women and men, uh, the disabled, uh, elderly people, etc. Each one of us must have the right to have access. And I think the first thing that I will be doing is to talk to staff, to make sure that I articulate and explain and clarify my vision, uh, explain their role, build together a strategy that will get us there, but also most importantly assess the resources that we have uh, and see where gaps exist embark on a massive resource mobilization so that we can implement uh, impactful projects across the globe and 
make sure that uh, the remaining 2.7 billion people are connected. They're already connected, they have quality of service, etc. So I, I think my job is clearly cut. Okay, well, we wish you the very best of luck uh, for that. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you soon over the, uh, and, of course, uh, uh, over the, your uh, coming mandate. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, you will definitely be making a difference there. Yeah, thank you very much. And I think uh, just to conclude, uh, partnerships are critical. Uh, I've been working, of course, forging partnerships and uh, mobilizing resources. And I think we have a great opportunity um, because over the years we've been able to forge partnerships with a lot of organizations, the UN family, uh, member states, uh, regional organizations, uh, regional development banks, etc. So we want to be part and parcel of the jigsaw puzzle and be able to rally uh, all like-minded organizations to work with us. Uh, we are not into credit taking, of course. Uh, it's a win-win uh, partnership that we are looking for. Cosmo Savazaba, Director-Elect of the ITU Telecommunication Development Bureau, thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.